understand is that um, in order to transition from a man to a woman or from a, a woman to a man, you need a medical prescription. This isn't a course of action that people can just embark on because they feel like getting up one day and, and engaging in this course of action. For some reason, some insurance companies are not as comfortable offering that, that benefit to somebody who is transitioning as they would be offering it to me for, for estrogen therapy. So um, in that case, it, it is discrimination. Um, there were tons of emails coming through the listserv, like people saying like, hey, you know, Ohio University does not discriminate, you know, please pass this recommendation so that we can honor this benefit for transgender students. What it actually does is really put, um, is take dis the discriminatory language out of that health care um, policy, which which does more to um, bring our health care coverage in line with our non-discrimination policy. Not only do transgender students get the health care that they most desperately need, uh, but also we make a social climate on campus that really puts the money where the mouth is. And that's not a lot of money to, to put on the line, uh, to really say we, um, as a, as a university, uh, not only support diversity, encourage diversity, but we really quite literally um, make a space for, um, for that diversity on our campus and care for all of our students.